today we're going to be talking about the six deck shuffle. Um, so we have, first of all, we'll bring out all six decks from the discard rack into the center of the table. I also want you to note where the shoe and the weight are placed. So we'll always have the weight out of the shoe, have the shoe and the weight, and then the tray, just like this. Um, so go ahead, so to get started, we'll cut the deck in half, bring the two halves about to the corners of the tray here. What we're gonna do is grab four 40 cards, okay? So about something like this. Um, and this will be done in four steps. Take those 40 cards, and we are gonna shuffle, shuffle, strip, shuffle. Move those forward here, but not past the insurance line. So the next 40 and 40. Also note when we do the strip, it's gonna be no more than six, but no less than three. So anywhere from three to six strips. Another thing about when you're stripping the cards, it's really important to make sure that we keep them nice and parallel and low to the table. So not to tilt them any way to expose the cards at all. So when we're keeping them nice and level. All right, so that's the first half of the shuffle. Bring those six decks back closer to you. Um, we're gonna cut them in half and then cut those in half. So we're looking for quarters. Just a general um, guesstimate of the quarters of the decks. They're gonna be squared right in front of the tray. We'll also bring out a protection card or a red card. No, uh, no, we don't wanna go past the insurance line, so. Now we're gonna take 20 cards from each stack, 20 and 20, bring them forward. They need to go onto the layout. So we'll start with the outside stacks and then the inside stacks, 20 and 20. We will do one shuffle, but we don't want to put it all the way together. We want to leave it laced. The lacing, because we left them, we didn't push them all the way together. The lacing is going to prove that we've had a shuffle in here. They go right on top of the red card here. So again, this should be done in four steps. 20 cards, 20 cards, one shuffle, leave them laced, right on top of the next ones. Any time during the shuffle process, if you were to expose a card, make sure you call your floor supervisor, uh, your floor supervisor over and probably instruct you to, to shuffle again. All right, the last step, we just grab, this is our fourth step. Shuffle, we've laced, and there we have it, we have them all laced. At this point, you're gonna wanna call your floor supervisor and we're gonna say shuffle complete. They're gonna come over here, take a look and make sure it's laced and then say, all right, go ahead, Jenny. We'll bring the shoe forward. The shoe, we usually kind of use the edge of the tray here. We'll bring these cards. We're gonna roll them forward. Careful not to expose any cards. We'll also kind of hook your pinky into the shoe here. It helps you straighten out these cards and get them nice and flat. You can kind of use the edge of your fingers. So now we're gonna offer the cut. Just take note of a couple things when you're offering the cut. We'll never bring the cards past the insurance line. We also never want to turn to where the guests can see the side of the cards. So for example, if we're going to offer the cut to a guest sitting at this spot, we would bring the card out here, card goes on top, and I would turn the deck so the backs of the cards are facing the guest, um, and then they can cut the cards. We also don't want to go too far out there, so go ahead and have Cards, please. Okay, bring them back into the center, bring your shoe forward again. Go ahead and use the edge of the shoe to, to uh, cut the cards to complete this process. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the uh, section of cards that are in the front to the back. And at this point, you're gonna wanna bring the, the red card that was in the very back, pop that up with your thumb, careful not to expose any cards, and re-smooth out the deck. So now you have a red card in the back. 
and then we will insert this red card about 40 cards from the front, three quarters of a deck, or I'm sorry, from the back. And we'll go ahead and load them in the shoe, put the weight in there, hold this to the back, cards in. They fall kind of nicely, we'll burn one card into the discard rack, and then we're all done.